Hello, everyone. New information stemming from the federal raid of a Metro East Police Department. Tonight, we have learned one of the department's officers now faces charges. News 4 was there as law enforcement seized computers, weapons, and boxes of documents from the Brooklyn Police Department. Brittany Noble Jones is live from the Bomberito Street Fleet. She has details you will see only on News 4. Brittany. Well, Jasmine, today we're learning two major details about this investigation. First, Officer Dean Anderson is charged with two felonies, and prosecutors allege that he was using his family's business to tow cars here. And residents tell me that's been a problem here for quite some time. About 750 people live in the small town of Brooklyn, but this city is well known as a hotspot for strip clubs in the Metro East. You can find at least four near 3rd Street. St. Louis, people coming to this area, and I know they just, I know they just, I just heard about it the next day, like a lot of people cars got told. People that live in the area said there isn't enough parking for the amount of visitors here on a Friday or a Saturday night. What do you see? Like, car, the cars getting towed, like I be seeing two and three tow trucks and the cars be like on the back of the beds and then they be have them like hanging off the back of the trucks and all of that like there'd be a lot of police out here. Do they say why the cars get towed? Mm -mm, they don't never say why but they just say stuff like basically they just say like if they find something in your car or whatever I don't even see how they can just get in your car and just find stuff anyways. They just say they find stuff and then they just tow your car. State's attorney Brendan Kelly is investigating complaints. He says Brooklyn police use classic auto body owned by Michael Anderson in Swansea. Anderson is related to Officer Dean Anderson, who was arrested for public contractor misconduct and aggravated battery. In a letter to the mayor, Kelly alleges officers felt pressure to tow as many cars as possible, all in an effort to generate money for payroll. I stopped by the police department. Just wondering if there's there anybody there that can speak with me. And they sent me to the city attorney who denied comment due to an ongoing investigation. And even though I saw a person in the office at City Hall, they wouldn't even greet me at the window. Just before our show, the chief confirmed that Anderson is on leave, but he wouldn't let us know if he's being paid or not. I'll stay on top of the investigation. Reporting live in Brooklyn, Brittany Noble Jones, News 4. Now, this is not the first time News 4 has investigated Officer Dean Anderson's family. We met his father, Harry Holter, years ago when customers complained about his outrageous tow fees. What agreement can you make with him right now? So I still, he can still get it for $500. You're out of your mind. Okay. Now I'm out of my mind. Dink, as many of our viewers know him, was a former Metro East police officer who owned town and country towing in Allerton. Halter also convicted a couple of years ago for forcing a woman to have sex with him so he would not arrest her. He was also sentenced to two years in federal prison for tax evasion and wire fraud. A dangerous day on the job.